Hi, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Miss Millie Flo's Barn Life. This is the October hot tea for the uh, water element. I had emotions going through. How are the emotions going through my head? All right, for our love and our love connections. But this is our water element. So our different ways that we connect with our water people. All right. <coughs> <coughs> this up and down weather, I love the season change. We're on the cusp. So, I have been uh, drawing a few different cards from a few different decks, but I do the reading from my Greenwood as always. Um, I love that you're following it and love that you're here. If you haven't hit like and subscribe and you like this, don't do it before you like it because if it's not for you, then that's not your vibe life and I'm not your vibe life. But committing to what we're at, I um, have been really enjoying doing these readings. I only started this a couple of months ago. I uh, really have been doing tarot for about 25 years. Like, and so this is a new evolution for me. And a thank you to uh, the fall of Rome for us uh, having a bit of time and me having a bit of time to uh, invest in me and my connections to the world and the universe and how I feel I've actually been more intuitive and not working full time. So that's amazing, obviously. Um, so here we are at the beginning of October. I already have out <coughs> a card from the uh, Buddhist reading cards. And I've actually read it twice. Let's see if I can actually read it again. Um, should really wear my glasses for these, but I don't. All right, so this, equanimity. I find hope in the darkest of days and focus in the brightest. I do not judge the universe. The Dalai Lama. Equanimity embodies forging ahead with an unshakable courage to experience all circumstances that come your way. And without judging them good or bad, or right or wrong, gain or loss, so that you will not be disturbed by your own negative emotions. Nothing can then spin you out of your calm centre. Cultivation card of cultivation card. Equanimity. All right, so trying to find that balance between it's all good all of the time, even when you think it isn't, because there's outcomes ahead that you're not really you don't know, and it doesn't matter. Like go with the flow. Talking about going with the flow, I have got some books in my little um, box of stuff. I've got a video on my my box of stuff, box of boxes and cards and stuff, because um, I'm going to show some of the different decks and different stuff in those. So I posted a video for that earlier. Um, today, but these aren't coming out for a few days because uh, this is October. Anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've actually peeled, pulled out some books. I've got some different love ones. I've got some Sex and Marriage from the 1800 quotes. They're hilarious. Like all different sorts of spiritual mermaid, um, fairy books, that sort of stuff. Thank you, Amethyst. Um, and um, I have got this Pooh's little instruction book out from it today because I've dropped it in there because Pooh is about like they've done a Taoism book about the carved block of wood just going down the river and just sort of going with it and saying well, I'm not judging it and so Pooh is this ultimate like negative positive not trying to find a negative and positive and just seeing what it is and, and going and being in that moment all right um, my nephew told me that um, life is what you plan with random chaotic events and I guess that and take it all right, so let's go. I'm just going to open a page and we're going to see what um, Pooh's little book of instruction book instruction book brings us. From this page, ooh, ooh. See? A proper tea is much nicer than a very nearly tea, which is one that you forget about afterwards. Mm, that's right. A proper hot tea. It's better than one that you nearly even have. A very nearly tea, which is one that you forgot about afterwards. It's true. That first coffee of the day. All right, so the other statement is, when the late morning rolls around and you're feeling a bit out of sorts, don't worry, you're probably just a little 11 o'clock-ish. Just still, still there. Thanks to Pooh. The wondrous mind of Pooh and a um, Um, I'll draw, drag out another book next month. Uh, so I've got the abundance cards. So this is the super abundance deck, a super attractor deck. And I think it's just like tips to seeing the world through abundant eyes, it's like and super attracting and of yourself as a co-creator, as a creator in your world. What have we got for the air element? Air, water, water element for October. Thank you. That's the hot tea. What's the universe telling us? 
When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and movements will form. Be the lone nut. All right, when I make joy a priority, making your joy a priority in the moment. Look at those beautiful flowers, like a little garden of ideas and you know, everything's gonna come, every comes in, in the flow, in the flow of it all, in the flow of the universe. Thank you. All right, super attractive. I will make joy a priority. Brilliant ideas will come naturally and I support, will support me and my movements will form. It's true, and when you're attracting something, it's self-fulfilling. You're attracting, it's attracting, it's attracting. Excellent. All right, so one more card before we get into the reading for October for the water element. So this is from the Starseed Oracle. And there we are, two more cards apparently. Okay. Seven star sisters. I love it. It's like the muses. Birth and creations, tapestry of life, expression. It is the muses, look. They turn up in my life all the time. It's Xanadu. I have like three forms of Xanadu now. It's obsessive and it's ridiculous. But I sort of like it and I was inspired, so I got it. Anyway, Xanadu. Look at that. Inspired. Birthing creations. Tapestry of life. Expression. Express yourself. Look at that. Okay. That's beautiful. Thank you. Starseed Oracle. What else do we have? Big picture thinking, Pallades energy, visit inspired ideas. So this is long game, short game stuff. Be inspired again in the now, in the now and taking in that flow of everything and that first cup of tea, like, and enjoying that cup of tea, not randomly going, I wasn't involved in it. All right, because this is the big picture thinking, visionary inspired ideas. Take the time to be inspired and, and you'll be inspired, it's gonna come to you. Like we're dancing, we're good dancing, birth and creation and inspired. This is good. Palladies energy, visionary, inspired ideas. I love it. All right. And it's all about finding joy. Just sharing your love. Yeah, sharing in your love. Okay, so, okay, so we have the green wood. So this is the green wood. And this is what I learned on. I didn't learn on the right away. It's a really different sort of deck. This is a, a lot about pagan, like, this is like old kingdom, this is old world. These are old world stuff. Nature, nature energies, because I'm the nature spirit, right? That's why I broke them down in nature elements, because that's how I roll. So, um, water element, we're gonna start. So I am going to do, I've done different readings in different uh, different videos. Um, for the Equinox reading, I did a, um, uh, Romani spread which is really good it was really involving I really enjoyed doing them and watching the transformation in the energies for what the for the each element um, and so this one I'm actually doing the traditional Greenwood spread the one that came with the deck that I've always read personal readings by they're usually the two I actually use is is you can't do them together it's too much for everybody but now I use confirmation cards that's where my decks exploded when I went I need more decks so I can do confirmation cards thank you Kelly Kelly Lorraine helps um thank you for the abundance it's been amazing and this is a thing like the joy making it a priority and everything else comes naturally flow you can do it work out the flow little ideas little ideas to make the plans all right so we're gonna start with the present state it starts with the present state, it starts where we are. So it brings us to where we are, how you got here. All right, so what a element, what a people. What a people in the house. What have we got for the October hot tea? What's the present state, how did they get here? Where did we, where did we come from? Where did we come from? Oh, passion. We've been inspired, this is our passion. We're, we're here, this is our present state. This is like, uh, this is like, the, the masculine, like, driven passion and faith. This is our most masculine, sexually driven energy card in the deck. This is inspired and taking it in control and taking it in, in. Okay. Okay. King of Wands, that's a great place to start. Like, a passion and inspired, like, and taking, that is a really mature level. Like, on a really mature, committed level, committing to your passion. All right, and your sexual drive. Woohoo. Okay, water element. So this is the um, spiritual mediator. So if this is an egg, this would be the next energy that surrounds you, that you can utilize or that's influencing you. All right, and this is the wren. This is, this is children and this is um, making a home. This is really thinking about the home. This could be an earth sign child. 
like but this is more on that energy of this is always on the energy of you know those little things and the inspiration and the little messages of of making a home and practical messages and getting practical things done inside of your day and those sort of things like if you were nesting or if you're running around the house doing things that add, those sort of admin sort of practical life things little messages or an earth sign chart all right so we or this is a fire sign man passion and passion and drive to, to make your nest and, and to have a home and, and you know, bring home the little like things to you know it's beautiful okay so the next card is ooh, 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 the next card is so the children and the passion and, and home and thinking about home and stuff like that practical stuff and so this is your um the next card i'm going to turn it down so you can see the reading because i sort of did this on purpose i like to sit next to people sit next to people i like to sit next to people when i do my, my readings right but in this case i can't do it because you're not here right so i turn the camera so you can actually see the table and you can see me it's brilliant right impresso anyway never in excellent accents no matter how many cultures i have multilingual there's a multicultural anything. anyway anyway this is i'm gonna turn it down i'm gonna turn it down so i can have a look all right so um the next card is your conscious will that's what you consciously think about what's going on so here we have our passionate king energy like passionate ugh, man energy and this is like our our, um, a home and our, our little dressing like little daily stuff and, and being homey, intimate. These, that's a really intimate card. All right, all right. So intimate daily stuff. So the next card is your conscious. Well, that's what you're consciously thinking about. Oof. All right. So this is inspiration. This is inspiration. So this is what is guiding you. Like we all go through the dark forest and every all the time we like we've been guided to this place. This is like. Um, this is like commitment to it, but this is like somebody's going to be there with you the whole way through. More than that, it's keeping your, um, there's a pole star, and we always go to the pole star, the north star, as our guiding light. And that's what's guiding this and you through the forest. And your ancestors have given you a path, and maybe you followed an ancestor's path. Like, but this is, you know, now, you know, you'll be given a new path and you consciously know that there's a consciously going through something, a transition, maybe even, but this is like following your star, finding your guiding light, following your wish. This is following, you know, Tinkerbell and your blue fairy. All right, so blue angel, anyway, wish, wishing on that northern star, that light, that's a wish energy, following your wishes. All right, so the next card is the driving force. It's the source of your power. What is the driving force for the water element for October? Ooh. So, this is expression. So this is the heart of the forest. Like, this is the heart of it all. This is a communicator. This is a woman that communicates her heart. Like, on the bad side, it can, like, this is air sign, so it's either, it can be cold, it can be colourless, it can be cutting. Like and, and, and driving and, and communicating if they need to, they'll chop off your head. But on the good side of this, this is a real sort of um, that communicating energy and communicating yourself in a loving way and communicating love. You know, jo making joy your priority. Like, and then your brilliant ideas will come. These come together. This will come naturally, and it'll support it. Like, and it's supported, right? And that's your driving force is to be able to communicate yourself from a loving position like and communicate yourself like this is not a water sign card again this is the, this is the heart of the forest this is you know the heart of, of of our communication like and so that's what you want or that's what you want to be that's what you're going to be you're going to communicate yourself to the world this could be that you start something up that you are you know taking up some sort of step where you're going to communicate your love like in a different form to the world like facebook page a youtube or something share your love share your vibe life this is really that that's what's the driving force of this of your pa of of this the driving source and passion of this or it could be an air sign woman like that is inside of this so, so an air sign sort of or this is an air element woman or um I got a light. you can have a lot of air all right so or a cube which i would generally like to think all right, so the next card is your unconscious empathy. Oh, and these go together. You can sort of see it. 
This is the world tree. This is the center of it all. This is the center of you making your path to the divine. Like this is our guidance down this path and through the darkest spaces and down the path. And this is how we turn and we go back on ourselves and we relearn and we relearn and we get deeper knowledge and we might know ourselves better and we get to know ourselves and maybe love ourselves even better because this is our tree. And we're going to go through these seasons and the world is going to keep changing. And we know that the world changes. And this year, obviously, the last few months since I started doing these, I'm noticing that. I'm noticing a lot of people have got the world tree and I notice a lot of people have got the wheel. The wheel is turning. Uh, so we have. But this is your path to the divine. Everybody's path is a different path to the divine. You're guided by your, your inner, your inner, your inspiration. We had something over here, inspiration. Seven of stars. Yeah, big picture thinking. There you are, big picture thinking. There it is. Visionary, Pallades energy, inspired ideas. There we are, visionary, inspired ideas. That's what we're looking at in that, in that card just there. The big picture thinking just there. And the world is changing and you're being guided. Water element, this is great, passionate, passionate. Alright, got your little nest and this is a real intimate moment. Water element. So we have um, blah, 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 blah. your challenge is a reconnection. So this is reconnection with attraction, tra reunion, reunion with um, people and your children or your past or the happiness and the joy from the past. Like and so there's a challenge inside of this that, that your connection and how you're going to reconnect with those people and reunion. But this, this, this is stronger is always about this longing and, you know, reconnecting with things. I was thinking, you know, I really feel connected with people who knew, know who Battle of the Planets are uh, and like Rainbow Bright is and He-Man. Like, and so, you know, sometimes it's like those little things, those reconnections with your inner child, lost inner child, playing on the swings. There's a challenge playing on the flying fox inside of this. There's a challenge in here for people to physically accept and not physically, emotionally. So this is your challenge, is a reunion and reunion to your heart, to your inner child. Take its hand, take your inner child's hand. Alright, reunion, physical reunion, this is families and attraction and partnerships. Okay, that's a challenge. Alright, so the next card is healing element how do we step over all right what have we got healing element Oof. all right so we've got our faith and our passion we are the queen we're the king like this is a partnership you can see that look da, da, da. king queen of wands on the table this is a passion and faith and like and then and, and sexy time this is a sexy time couple this passionate reap here but this is also you know obviously you you step here and this is like taking it here and then we make it a lot more feminine there's a lot you know but we're still like this is the 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 queen that just takes it and runs and goes right i'm going to put my passion into it then i'm going to chop off your head different queen to this queen right different thing but this is a person with passion this is a person with strength this is you taking on your spiritual spiritual together perfect a balance perfect balance all right i don't even know well let's see let's see what the outcome is I'm going to do confirmation cards because I have the rest of them. But um, I love it when they come out and I'm like, this I can see. But we'll do, we'll do, because I've done it for the rest. All right, what's the outcome for the water October hot tea? Oh, big, I went through the whole deck just then. Oh, I'm going to do this. I didn't. I did it to the rest of the decks previously. I don't do it to this one often. I don't like to bend them. You know, let's get an outcome. Let's let's make it a fresh, fresh. I don't bend them up because I've got respect for them. I don't do that very often, but I didn't do it. I did it to the rest of them earlier, so I thought, let's see, we're here. Oh, do it again. I heard. Do it again, do it again. Look at the skills. I'm getting better. This has never been a shuffle technique of mine. Alright, so what's the final card for the water element? Water peeps. What's the hot tea for the water peeps? Ooh, transition. Okay, if you didn't know. You've been walking. This is a transition of the mind. Uh, it's always a transition of the mind. We have to go there first. So you have to get in that boat and you have to cross the river. And so how we get across this is, is, is changing our mind and going and 
changing our minds so we can get ourselves in that place and we go through this transition so there's tr big transitional energies like there's birthing of creations there's like you know there's a communicative like energy here and communicating maybe communicating your spirituality is the healing element in here the reunion with your inner child the things like i find a lot of the stuff that i'm picking up now is a reunion with my inner child like and this is a transition like this is i'm going back to the things that meant things to me before this transition is is a reconnection and getting back to you like you know we've, we've got halfway across with the six it's, it's now taking your mind across all right it's now taking your mind across okay I am going to do confirmation cards, even though I sort of think that this is sort of being self-explanatory. Some of them are. They really are that straightforward in a reading. And this is why I don't necessarily do this in the Romani spread together, because it's just way too much information. It's too much for people. But this, I already did the shuffle thing with the rest of the decks. So I just didn't do it with the green one. Okay, so what have we got? Let's confirm the King of Wands. What is this passion in your pants? Not that we don't know it. All right, what do you got? Passion for life. All right, passion for life. Oh, the lovers, the lovers inside of you, the lovers, that connection of two whole beings together, the lovers, like that passion to have two whole entities have together. This is driving, this is around you. All right, this is a Gemini energy, but it's talking energy. Like, but this is that passion to this together. These two, obviously, you've got the king of passion, you've got the queen. This is like fantastic. You can see that lover in your mind. There might be somebody in your life who is this king. Who actually is this king in your life a faithful like lover that is is is, is reliant on the in their spirit you know that turns up like as you see these two people are approaching together this is all fertile energy this is energy that's created between the lovers you know that third energy and that's that's the driving here all right so let me go to the page of stones what are we looking to protect what are these little messages what are these little home things that we're doing oh got an email maybe we'll go with that card see friends siblings longing for old people this is older people not old people but the people in your life that are precious these are the same thing this is like we're putting those people the emotions into that the precious people in your life you know if this is reunion this is spending time with them in the first place your siblings your children your loved ones your lover that's it's beautiful beautiful all right three of materials okay so where's the ancestor taking us in your um, destiny I guess this is a destiny four of inspiration oh my god this is a commitment card this is an ultimate commitment card this is commitment in your mind this is marriage card this is like your ancestors leading you down a path to people and to a place that you can commit to your faith in, and inside of you you have the king and the queen. It's amazing. Uh, and so this is this is a commitment card. Four walls. Four is a resting place, but this is a resting place of joy and, and your faith inside of you. This is where marriages are made from. It's a beautiful card. That's where the ancestors leading us. What's going on with the dragon force? Let's have a look at what the queen actually is saying. What is her inspiration? What is her big picture thinking? Let's have a look. Visionary for the water element, a hot tea. What is the visionary, like big picture idea? This expression of love, this person is driving for us. What is that? Strength. It's strength in that. There's strength in communicating your heart. There's strength in the big picture. There's strength in big picture thinking. This is really honing in on your ideas. This transition, this transition is honing in on your ideas. Like, and, and you know, trying to, dedication is nine. So this six here is like definitely that water flow through. Like, you know, energy of, of a transition, emotional transition. But there's strength in this. The sun's in that. This is a very Leo energy, a very fiery energy inside of this. You know, so there's strength in this communication. There's strength in this love. There's strength in this position with this person or with that you communicating yourself, like freely communicating yourself to the world on the whole. Like it's a strength position. Ooh, it's so inspirational. All right, the world tree, unconscious empathy. The world is shrinking. Where are you going? Oh, the 10 emotions. Oh, the muses. Back to Xanadu. See, no coincidence this week for me. Look, we've got the muses here. 
We've got the Muses here. Like, this is the Muses of Inspiration. This is the Muses of Love. This is the Muses of like Abundance. This is the Muses of Happiness. This is an happiness of Joy. Like when you focus on your joy, this is what comes. Like and so, this is happiness. This is your cup running over. This is like the penultimate. Like in your in in in, in it. That's your unconscious empathy. You want happiness and joy. Yay! So surprising. Water signs, water elements. You like love, love, joy, joy, love, love, joy, joy. And you got to bathe in it. You're birthing creations inside of this. Those muses are birthing creations. God, I love them. I'm really involved in the muses recently. What is this? Zandu. All right. Okay. Um, it's actually more like. Come take your things. You should know for me. All right. So this is we're confirming the reunion. The world and the cosmos. All right. So this is our world card. The world tree, the world cosmos, the world tree. And so again, where the challenge is the world turning again. We're still waiting for the world to turn. So it's turning and it's turning. Just have faith. We've got to have faith. That'll heal all the, the heal of that faith element will heal. Okay. What have we got? What have we got? What's this healing on them? What have we got? What have we got to go with this? For the air, water, hot tea for October. Ooh, so you need to have faith that you're not going to be abandoned. This is abandonment. You can get up and walk in. But this is a, you having no faith that you're, you're not abandoned. The universe hasn't abandoned you. It hasn't left you out in the cold. Like, and this physically feels like you've been left out in the cold. Like... Don't have abandonment issues. Have faith. The world is turning. Like this is a transition. You're in a transition. You you know you know what matters. You know what matters here, and you've been inspired by the ants. But it says that you've been inspired by all of this. There's strength in where your position in it is. You are not left out alone. That's what you need to have faith in. The universe is abundant to you. All right. Don't give up on that. Because these are together. These are sitting together. Like if this is where your present state is, and this is your healing element, they're together. So don't have, don't, don't think you're abandoned. Okay. All right. So six of arrows. Let's go. One more card for the water element. October hot tea. Let's go. Okay. All right. One more. One more card. Let's go. October hot tea. Where are we going? Outcomes. Where are we going? Outcomes. Oh, please. Ooh, transition. So, seven of voices. So, this is sort of just boating. This is boating. This is for boating, not to create an illusion. All right, so seven of voices. We are trying not to get too headed far of ourselves. Insecurities. This is six and seven of the same, of the same suit. Right, so it's one step into the other. It's actually working out your insecurities. It's working through and stepping through and watching what is and what isn't, what is real, what not real, what the differences are. You know, so this card is, um, yeah, the voices. So this, you know, we go through this transition and when we come out of the transition, there's all these other things on the outside that we need to just sort of watch to make sure that we are, you know, not creating and nothing is an illusion. All right, so it's an interesting, this is actually, you know, a daydream card, believe it or not, because seven's a healing. This is actually a daydreaming card. So it's, it's sort of actually saying, take a minute to, you know, it, it heal. Like the seven of voices always comes across as insecurities, but there's a little bit of daydreaming. You just gotta be careful not to create an illusion. Take it so far, one step after the other. All right, water element. You are so in the zone. You are so in the zone. Like, you've been led here. Your ancestor, you know it's a path, and you know in the back of your mind that, you know, you, you can be happy and that you've got joy coming. Like, and, you know, that we're inspired like a visionary. So these, 
yeah, our challenge is reconnecting and letting the world reconnect with us because we get old and let it turn. Don't let the season slip away. We connect with the things that are emotionally important to you. Like, and this could be your family members, a lover, obviously. Like, um, but I, you know, your inner child, your real children, take time to reconnect with them. You know, we're thinking about the home and these things. It's all apparent sitting in here. You're not left. Oh. You're not left outside alone. Battery was just telling me it needs to be charged. Should be on. Um, let's not do that again. So this one's gone pretty long, um, but it's a really intensive, like, uh, October read. I really hope you liked it. It's expensive. I meant to go that expensive, not necessarily 30 minutes, but I hope you enjoy it. Hit like and subscribe, and really I can share it with your peeps. Um, and uh, stay cool. We'll catch you soon. Ciao for now.